Welcome to our channel. Today we embark on a journey into the heart of some truly harrowing tales. Stories where the supposed sanctity of the human-animal bond is shattered, often with tragic finality. We'll be examining 10 cases where animals driven by instinct, hunger, or perhaps something more unsettling, turned on their human companions with fatal consequences. These incidents serve as stark reminders that the wild, untamed heart of nature can never be truly extinguished, even in the most seemingly domesticated creatures. Our first tragic tale takes us to the seemingly tranquil world of experienced tiger handler Cynthia Lee Gamble. In the heart of Minnesota, Cynthia shared her life with a magnificent 500-pound Bengal tiger. This was no ordinary captive, having graced our screens in television and film. Cynthia, a seasoned professional, had dedicated years to understanding and caring for these majestic creatures. Yet, in 2006, tragedy struck. The tiger, in a sudden and violent outburst, turned on Cynthia, inflicting fatal injuries. This heartbreaking incident serves as a chilling reminder that beneath the veneer of domesticity, the raw power and unpredictable nature of a wild animal can never be truly tamed. Even years of close interaction and seemingly affectionate bonds cannot erase millennia of instinct honed by the unforgiving crucible of nature. Our journey into the heart of these unsettling encounters takes us next to Hampshire, England, where Dan Brandon shared his life with Tiny, an eight-foot African rock python. Constrictors, by their very nature, are creatures of immense power, their embrace often spelling death in the wild. In 2018, tragedy struck when Tiny, perhaps in a display of affection gone tragically wrong, coiled around me, the pressure proving fatal. The coroner's conclusion pointed towards constriction as the cause of death. A stark reminder that even in the confines of our homes, the instincts of these ancient reptiles remain powerful, their potential for harm ever present. Our exploration of the dark side of animal companionship takes us next to the rolling hills of Pennsylvania, where Sandra Piovacine shared her life with nine wolf dogs. For a decade, Sandra had raised these animals, hybrids born of wild wolves and domesticated canines. The bond they shared seemed unbreakable, a testament to Sandra's dedication and love for these creatures. Yet, in 2006, the delicate balance of this interspecies pack shattered. The wolf dogs, driven by some primal urge, turned on me, inflicting fatal injuries. This tragic event serves as a stark reminder that within these animals, the wild wolf ancestry, with its complex social dynamics and deeply ingrained hunting instincts, can resurface with terrifying consequences. Chapter 4 our journey into the heart of these unsettling encounters now leads us to a farm in Oregon, where Terry Vance Garner met a grim end. Terry, a seasoned farmer, understood the inherent risks and rewards of working with livestock. Yet in 2012, the unexpected occurred. Terry was found on his property, the victim of a sustained attack by his own pigs. The circumstances surrounding his death remain shrouded in mystery. Did he suffer a medical emergency leaving him vulnerable to the pig's scavenging instincts? Or did something more sinister transpire? Whatever the truth, Terry's fate serves as a stark reminder that even domesticated animals driven by hunger or opportunity can turn on their human caretakers. Chapter 5 From the farmlands of Oregon, we journey to the sun-drenched plains of South Africa where farmer Marius Ells shared a unique bond with Humphrey, his pet hippopotamus. Hippos, despite their often deceptive bulk, are creatures of surprising speed and aggression, their territorial nature legendary. Humphrey, it seemed, was different. He and Marius shared a deep connection, their interactions a testament to the power of interspecies friendship. However, in 2011, tragedy struck. Humphrey, perhaps in a display of affection gone wrong, turned on Marius, inflicting fatal injuries. This heartbreaking incident serves as a stark reminder that, even in the most seemingly idyllic settings, the wild essence of an animal can never be truly erased. Our exploration of the dark side of animal companionship 
takes a chilling turn as we delve into the unsettling case of Herbert Walden and his mother, Jane, in Pennsylvania. The Waldens, known for their love of animals, shared their home with 12 cats. Tragically, both Herbert and Jane passed away in their home in 2010. What followed was a macabre testament to the harsh realities of nature. With their owners gone and no source of food, the cats, driven by desperation and perhaps a primal instinct for survival, resorted to consuming the remains of Herbert and Jane. This grim discovery serves as a stark reminder of the fine line between companionship and the raw, unyielding instincts that govern the animal kingdom. Our journey into the heart of these unsettling encounters takes us next to Germany, where Mark Vogel, a keeper of exotic creatures, met an untimely end. Mark shared his home with a menagerie of spiders, lizards, and other often misunderstood creatures. His death, attributed to a black widow spider bite, remains shrouded in mystery. Some whisper that his beloved pets, deprived of their keeper and driven by hunger, feasted on his remains. While the veracity of these claims remains uncertain, Mark's story serves as a cautionary tale about the potential dangers of sharing our lives with creatures whose natural histories and instincts remain shrouded in mystery. From the shadowy world of exotic pets, we travel to Pennsylvania, where Kellyanne Waltz shared her life with Teddy, a 350-pound black bear. Kellyanne, an experienced animal handler, believed she understood the risks and rewards of living with such a powerful creature. However, in 2009, tragedy struck. Kellyanne, entering Teddy's enclosure, perhaps forgetting for a moment the raw power she faced, was fatally mauled. This heartbreaking incident serves as a stark reminder that even with the best intentions and years of experience, the wild instincts of an animal can resurface with terrifying speed and ferocity. Our exploration of the dark side of animal companionship takes us next to Delaware, where Ronald Huff shared his home with seven Nile monitor lizards. These formidable reptiles, some reaching lengths of six feet, were given free reign of his house, a testament to Ronald's belief in coexisting with such creatures. Tragically, in 2002, this experiment in cohabitation turned deadly. Ronald was found dead in his home, his body bearing the unmistakable marks of his reptilian companions. The lizards, covered in blood, were a chilling testament to the brutal efficiency of nature's predators. Our final, unsettling tale takes us into the world of primate companionship, where Charla Nash's life was irrevocably altered by Travis, a chimpanzee owned by her friend, Sandra Harold. Travis, seemingly well-socialized and a beloved member of Sandra's family, had become a familiar face in their Connecticut community. However, in 2009, the veneer of domesticity shattered. Travis, in a sudden and ferocious attack, turned on me, inflicting horrific injuries. This tragic incident sent shockwaves through the animal-loving community, forcing a reassessment of the wisdom of keeping primates as pets. As our journey through these unsettling encounters concludes, we are left with a profound sense of respect for the power and unpredictability of the natural world. While the human-animal bond can be a source of great joy and companionship, it is essential to remember that even in the most seemingly domesticated creatures, the whisper of the wild remains. Always treat animals with caution and respect recognizing that their behavior, however familiar, can be influenced by instincts honed over millennia.